Hey, I'm Jonathan, and this is to talk about the default fillet radius. So maybe you've come across this where you use the fillet tool, right? Right there, sketch fillet. I'm just gonna pick the point and it's gonna drop in the fillet, gives me a nice preview. And my default is always 0.1 inches. That's your default too if you haven't changed it. So my question is like, how do I change it so that I don't have to update this all the time? Because we use standard tooling and all of our radiuses are 1.25. So why can't I have that in here? So I'm gonna give you a couple of extra tips in this process, but the question is, is it possible to change? And of course it is possible. So they say that the correct value is actually controlled by your system options, which is great because we can set those and then spin box increments. So I'm just gonna copy that out, spin box increments and length increments, right? So if I come in to, I'm gonna cancel my sketch fillet there. I go into my system settings. I might not remember where spin box is. It's right there. But if, if you can't remember, you can always type in spin box up here. That's why I, I copied it. And when I hit search, oops, I added a period. It's gonna take me right to it. So it brings me there. And look at the English units are preset to 0.1. So if I change this to 0.25, just like that, what I should see is the next time I go to my fillet tool, it would come in as 0.125. Now, if, if I've manually entered something else, it's not going to come in that way the first time because in this session, I entered 0.1 because I had already changed it. Does that make sense? Now, what I'm, what I'm going to do is change it to 0.125. It'll hold that this session, but when I close SolidWorks, it won't keep it, right? Unless you come in to system options, spin box increments, and change this. Now, permanently, it will always default to 0.125 or whatever you prefer. The other thing I thought I'd point out is that uh, orientation sometimes is frustrating. Right, so I'm going to add my fillet in and maybe now I want to just zoom out and look at my model as a whole, my whole machine, right? And, and it's oriented proper because this way is up, like the Z is up, but if I go to a default view, right, if I go to a default view and I'm like, okay, great, that looks good. And now I want to go back to a normal view. So I'm just going to hit N. I have N set up as my normal view. It brings me normal but it's wrong, like it's the wrong orientation and I hate that, it drives me nuts. So how do I fix it? If you go to your default view, hit your space bar, you'll get your orientation box, right? And then when I pick my orientation box, it brings it into the view that I, I prefer. And if you don't like that, you can always tweak it, move your mo model, hit the space bar, and maybe I wanna look from the bottom, right? So you see how that works, you hit the space bar, and then pick the pane that you want and it orients it properly. I thought those two tips might help you. If you've got questions, comments, you know, interest, like how do I do this? Send it to me, add it in the comment section. I read all those and I'll do my best to respond. Have a great day and subscribe if this was a blessing to you.